Hi, welcome to another episode of Ask Aunty. I'm Priyanka Bharadwaj, founder and CEO of Marriage Broker Aunty, which is a matrimonial advisory service. I'm going to leave a link to our website below in case you'd like to check it out. We enable informed partner choices and we work with individuals who are looking to build enriching relationships. Now, on this channel on YouTube, we talk about a variety of topics related to love, dating, relationships, marriages. And in case you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, please do so now by clicking the bell icon below. Um, and this way you'll get access to a lot of videos as soon as they're out. Today on Ask Kanti, I'm going to answer a question uh, that I get asked numerous times uh, by people on my one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions with them. This is, why do people say relationships are work? I get it that relationships are work, but why do people say it? Is it people who are in bad relationships that feel like there is work in a relationship? What if I find a great partner? Um, then will I still have to put in the work? When somebody comes and tells me that they want to get married or get into a relationship um, where they're living with their partner, there are two questions I ask. What are you looking for in a relationship? And what are you willing to pay for it? And the moment I ask them the second question, what are you willing to pay for it? Most people are perplexed. They're like, what do you mean? What am I looking for? I, I get that relationships are work and you know I'm okay to deal with whatever that comes my way. And I ask them, are you really sure you're okay to deal with whatever that comes your way? And do you really know what you are going to lose in return for whatever else that you want from a relationship? Right? Most often we don't think too much about it because we don't know what you could possibly lose when you get into a relationship. Right? I may not cover the entire range of um, issues that come up in most marriages or relationships but I can name a few just to get an idea. I'm going to start with something very very trivial. When somebody says relationships are work it can be something as small as what are you going to have for breakfast today? Just coordinating what two people living under a roof are going to have for a meal can can cause arguments, can cause disagreements. And depending on how each person's mood is on that particular day at that particular time, it could take a lot of work to just align and agree on something. Even if it means agreeing to disagree and say, we're going to cook two different meals in this house today, it takes work. It may not happen every day. It may not happen with everybody at the same frequency, but it it does happen. It can happen, right? Now, you may say, oh, well, you know, we'll figure out a way to do it. We'll employ a cook. We'll make them make two different, you know, dishes or something like that. Even with respect to managing a cook or hiring a cook, who puts in the work? Who, who manages the household help? Like something as trivial as this, which you've taken for granted because you didn't have the additional burden of coordinating with another person because maybe you lived on your own or somebody else took care of it for you at home can seem like a lot of work especially initially when two people like you know uh, are learning about each other getting to know each other learning to align and build you know a sort of common identity like uh, that is required to sort of live under a single roof, raise a family together, whatever, it takes time and effort, right? Now, the question you want to ask yourself is, well, that's great, you know, I can put in that work. What am I not prepared to give up, right? Um, for companionship, for independence, for somebody who you can, you know, become a power couple with, are you prepared to be with somebody who you know, has different values from it. So that's a question you've got to ask yourself. Now, these values can be anything. Some people may, may be really concerned about um, how you treat each other's family and that may be something very, very fundamental for them and they're not prepared to lose their social life. They're not prepared to lose how close they are to their family. Like, these are things you've got to know for certain as to what you're not willing to pay but at the same time you've got to know what you're willing to pay where are you willing to give it you know what 
maybe maybe you're willing to put in some work with somebody who doesn't have the same kind of exposure as you isn't as broad minded as you today but you're willing to put in that effort to you know bring them on board to where you are you know that could be one thing uh another thing could be well i'm willing to live with somebody who is not vegetarian for instance or who's not vegan for instance can be as small as that but are you willing to pay that price is something that you've got to ask yourself because you are discussing every single issue day in and day out because both of you are living under the same roof right it is work now depending on the type of person you find uh it is either less work or more work overall but at the end of the day it is still work right because we are constantly growing and evolving as individuals and you may find that you two are aligned at a certain point of time but you may see that with time in the relationship two people might start diverging individually you know in terms of their personalities so it may take a lot more work to hold the two of you together and what you share as a couple so these are things to be considered when looking for a partner and sometimes you have to be mindful of things that distract you from the important stuff and it's always good to maintain a balance of you know finding somebody attractive finding you know that instant connection where you hit it off with is this helpful in sustaining the relationship i hope this was helpful if you have any questions please feel free to leave them in the comment section below i'd be happy to answer them um otherwise happy um relationship building i'll see you next week take care